How's it going? Uh, as promised in my last video, which if you didn't come to this video from that video, the, just the link to the video that this one came from, are you confused yet? I'm confused. It's down in the description below. So you can actually go see the song that I'm about to tell you about. Uh, it was one of my favorite songs, uh, one of my favorite hymns growing up, still is one of my favorite hymns. Um, and it's the uh, hymn Amazing Grace written by John Newton, and um, if you don't know much about his story, it's pretty fascinating. Um, first of all, he was, he was born uh, to a very devout mom uh, and a strict seafaring captain. Uh, his mom unfortunately died when he was six or seven, and uh, he ended up going to sea with his father at the age of 11. And that started this whole um, cycle in his life of, you know, growing up around sailors and, and being around that kind of environment. Um, and probably a lot out of grief from losing his mom at an early age. Um, he became known as just an extreme troublemaker. He was always getting himself into trouble. Um, always rebellious. And, and then, you know, he'd like go through these cycles of like, crazy rebelliousness and then having to come to Jesus moment and you know like oh you know I need to I need to live my life better but then he'd go back to living his life all crazy and getting in all kinds of trouble um, at one point he was known to be so obscene by the sea captain that he was serving under uh, that you know basically this captain said this guy set a new bar for sailors uh, so he was that bad uh, and he was so bad that it is actually the crew that he was serving on, uh, he got into some major disagreements. They ended up imprisoning him on the ship in the middle of the voyage. And he was put into slavery in Sierra Leone in Africa. Um, so here's this guy who's just been all over the place. And he's eventually rescued from slavery after a couple of years in Sierra Leone. He had sent a message to his father. His father sent a ship and, and somehow they found him. And um, and then within a couple of years, he actually ended up the captain of his own slave ship. So he is running slaves from Africa to the New World, and then goods from the New World to Africa, and he's doing this cycle. And uh, somewhere in those voyages, in the middle of the Atlantic, there's this massive storm. And he has one of these, you know, middle of the storm conversion moments where it really started to set and he said, you know, God, save me from this uh, and I'll serve you. And how many times have we all had moments like that? Um, and he was obviously saved from that storm. Uh, the story goes that there was a hole in the ship and when he prayed that, somehow the cargo shifted and, um, and plugged up the hole and the hole was able to make it to safety, to safety or the hole. The hole was not able to make it to safety. The ship was able to make it to safety. Um, and this is just kind of some of the stuff I've gleaned off of different sources on the internet. So you know it has to be true. Um, anyway, so this is, this is kind of the story. And over the next few years, he was still running slaves. Um, but he became more mature. And he started really deciding to pursue God. And eventually ended up... Uh, going back home, uh, married his childhood sweetheart, and was eventually ordained as a minister. Uh, then he began to write lots of songs and, of course, you know, sermons and books. And uh, but the most popular song that he wrote was "Amazing Grace." Uh, something else that I've kind of picked up here and there. I was watching a video here the other day uh, by a, a singer named Wintley Phipps. This guy's got a voice of velvet. Um, and he was talking about how the melody of Amazing Grace, that kind of mournful longing with those minor keys in there. That really wasn't found in Western musical canon at that time. The only place that there was really a lot of that minor scale was in Africa. So it's kind of cool to think that this song about 
how amazing grace was that saved a wretch like John Newton, who was so bad that his own crew imprisoned him, sold him into slavery. It was almost a Joseph type thing. Um, you know, that, that story of somebody like that receiving redemption came from someone who at one time was putting other people under subjugation and, and into slavery. And uh, I just think it's really cool how that turned around and that, um, you know, that, that aspect of the story, it, you know, I could imagine him being on the deck of the ship and hearing these melodies, these mournful melodies of slaves singing because it's all they have left. And those melodies sticking in his head. And in that moment when he realizes the amazing grace that he's received, the melody that comes back to him is one that he had heard from the darkest parts of his life. So anyway, a little bit of background on the song, Amazing Grace. Again, um, if you would like to uh, hear that song the way I did it, um, I'm going to put the link in the description below. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If you, if you like it, like it. Uh, if you really like it, share it. <laughs> and if you want to hear more, you can always hit that subscribe button. I'd uh, love to have you hanging around. All right, you guys. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you on the flip side.